Now, the industrial elements of the country can be relied upon in the hour of crisis to do their full share. And after all, the tank is a British weapon. It was developed by us a quarter of a century ago. We made use of it in the last war with splendid results. The enemy seized on this British device, developed it to an extent that uh, quite surprised and astonished us. Now, we have ourselves devoted the engineering genius of our country to the uh, extension, uh, to the uh, uh, enlargement of the experiences that we've had in the last two years, and out of it, we've uh, devised and perfected a tank which I'm confident will meet and beat the enemy. And after all, the uh, tank is uh, the weapon that is most effective in the war, in the, the campaigns that have been carried on in Europe. So we must develop our weapon swiftly. We must develop it with all our resources. Uh, we must develop it with every intention to use it to the furthermost extent. Until at the end, the tanks of Britain make a landing in France, restore that country to the people, to, the, to her own, to their own people, to the French people, and invade the, uh, the and invade Germany and bring the enemy low. Is that enough? The uh, tank is uh, a weapon uh, developed by Britain a quarter of a century ago. Then uh, this device for making war uh, was uh, developed by the Germans and used with great success by them in uh, their continental campaigns last year. Now, in, uh, at the present moment, the tank is the principal weapon used by the enemy against the Russians. It is indeed uh, a satisfaction to us to see the immense resources, to know of the immense resources in tanks uh, which uh, the Russians are making use of uh, for their defense. And of course, uh, a great part of the success of that defense so far uh, has depended upon uh, the tank weapon. So therefore, we have the example of the British device being put to such a wicked use by the Germans and uh, so effectively brought into action by the Russians for the defense of their country. Now, uh, we have a lesson to learn from all this, and that is the urgent necessity of tanks for the defense of our own country. Rest assured, the day is not far distant when the enemy will make an attempt to invade the British, the, the United Kingdom. That attempt must be made, for it is only by a successful invasion that the German can gain peace. It's only by making a landing on these shores that the German can dictate terms to us. And it is only by resisting and repelling that invasion that we can retain our liberty and preserve the lives of ourselves and of our families. Therefore, we need the tank weapons. We need them so urgently. We need them so earnestly that I must ask every man and every woman to speed the manufacture of the tanks. Even though you have no apparent relation to the tank industry, nonetheless you can do a great deal to speed the production of tanks. For every effort that every citizen makes in every direction does something to bring on the production of tanks. Now, uh, we'll be asked how big a tank force we want. Well, I'll tell you. We want a, as big a tank force as the industry 
and all those engaged in it can possibly produce. We want all the tanks we can get. There isn't any limit to our demands. But there is the greatest necessity for giving us our requirements now and here. And so I beg all of you, everywhere, to speed the tank, speed the defenses of Britain, speed the hour when we can say to every soldier who's waiting and wanting tank equipment, we have provided you with what you require. Now see that you defend us against the rapacious, the wicked, the designing enemy that is attempting to enter at our gates. We want tanks. We want very many tanks. We want them for the defense of our island and also for offensive operations. For the tank has become a great weapon for making war. The tank that was invented in Great Britain, made use of with devastating results in the last war, has now become the ingenious device of the Germans for attacking other countries, for invading other lands, for bringing destruction, devastation, and destruction upon other people. Now I must rely upon you, the men who make the tanks in the factories of Great Britain. For rest assured, when the German invasion comes, as it surely will, that army, that foreign army, setting foot on British soil, will depend upon a tank force in the futile attempt to conquer this people. And there's only one method of meeting an attack by tank, and that is the tank defense. We must rely upon you to give to our soldiers the weapons that they require in order to defend our hearths and our homes. It is indeed a heavy burden. But rest assured that you can discharge, that you will discharge your obligations. That is the message that I give to the British people on your behalf.